Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. First of all, a big apology that I haven't released any content for a while. I was actually in the process of rendering my latest video when my motherboard died and I decided what's the point in buying an outdated motherboard to keep some outdated hardware running so I never bothered and I decided to save up some money and build a whole new system from scratch which is exactly what I've done and you may notice if you're a regular that the sound quality is good because I've bought a brand new microphone it's a freestanding Samsung Meteor and in titanium black and it is freaking sweet I love it it's really nice looking so the only thing that I don't have is a gaming mouse. Well, I did, but unfortunately it died after about a week. So I've returned it and issued a refund and I now have a Logitech G300 gaming mouse, I think it was called. Uh, it's been dispatched, it's listed as in transit and should be here tomorrow. But I can't wait until then to make a video. I want to make a video now. So I'm using my, my girlfriend's wireless mouse, which... Yeah, it, well, it's tiny, barely fits in my hand incredibly oversensitive especially the mouse wheel I mean just look I'm just I'm just barely tapping the mouse at the bottom there and it's just it scrolls all over the bleeding place so it's gonna be kind of fun trying to scroll through these but anyway let's get on with the video as you may see behind me there is the cottage which if you're a regular you may have seen already I did a showcase unfortunately I didn't do anything more than a showcase because I was busy with college and so I did a showcase and just released it as a schematic but today I would like to go ahead and do a build tutorial for this build assuming I can remember how I made it and whether I can use this horrible mouse wheel I mean just trying to middle click to grab these materials and I'm actually scrolling into a different slot oh boy this is gonna be fun but oh well let's try um, let's let's get some distance away from this to ensure that I've got room let's uh, Mr. Chicken's disappeared. Yeah, let's maybe say here. Okay, so I'm gonna start by placing the first block. Uh, if I remember right, it came up by three. Take a gap of three. Do the same again. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. It's to there. Back around this way. And again, just here. But we also have a bit that comes out here. And again, just there. So you end up with, well, it depends on what you're looking at it. I guess you kind of end up with like a. A J from that way or an L. Let's do there. In the same way as that one. Okay. Nothing uh, nothing spectacular, I suppose. And um, they can actually go four high, but yes. Actually, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Let's before we move on, let's just go four high. Yeah. Oops. Let's go four high real quick. Okay, to fill these in, I'm going to go Pretty high, but every now and then I'm just going to throw in some moss just to sort of break it up a little. Uh, let's maybe throw some moss there. Have an upside down step and a window. This one's going to have a door, so I'm just going to go around the outside like that. Upside down, and I'll leave a space for a door just there. This is going to be another windowed one, so yeah, the occasional bit of moss, a bit of glass, some stone. This one is actually going to have a small chimney in it, so for now I'm not going to patch it up in one material. I'll make it look nicer soon. Okay, and then this one also doesn't have a window, so I'm just going to put a bit of a, a mess here. Now I haven't done it in that building over there, but if you'd like to make it look a little bit more ruined, you can put in the occasional steps like this. You know, just to make it look like there's some parts and pieces missing. But this one's more habitable, so I never bothered with that. But you know, if you wanted to, then that's certainly an option. So uh, I don't know, for demonstration purposes, maybe we'll leave that one there. It still looks alright from the inside anyway. But me, okay. And once again, we want another windowed one just here. I really hope I can remember how I made this. <laughs> it would be kind of poor if I didn't. Okay, now for the front and back. We're going to do a very similar thing. Oh, this mouse is horrible. I can't wait for my gaming mouse to turn up. Okay, um, and I apologise if, if I'm if i too far away from the mic or too close. Uh, you know, I've never had a freestanding microphone before. I mean, if I get too close, this is... I would like... I'm, I'm kind of leaning forward here, but I'm starting to get a purple light on the mic, which means it's starting to be a bit too loud. So it kind of gives you a coloured indicator. If you're too close, it goes red. If you're too far away, it just stays kind of blue. But if I'm, if I'm around here, it kind of goes like a little purpley light. It kind of signifies how far away you are. I'm still trying to get used to that though, so I apologise if 
well I'm too close or too far away or you can hear every every bloody noise I'm making I don't know you can probably hear my lungs inflating and deflating when I, if I'm too close I have no idea anyway carrying on let's get this out of the way uh, I'm gonna come up like this on top of these two glass I'm gonna have it upside down here and then I'm gonna come up by another three and finally one on top like that and I'm going to do the exact same over this side. God, I hope this is right. I'm going to be so embarrassed if I if I get this wrong. I'm going to have to delete this video. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm getting it right though. So, but it is great to be back on here, you know, playing some Minecraft and making a, a building and being able to record it. Sometimes you don't realise how much you miss your computer until you ain't got one, I suppose. Right, now that's out of the way, I'm going to simply bring these all together oops like that and finally just there as well the mouse is bouncing all over the place I'm also going to attach that piece and then here I'm going to come up by four as well and just conjoin those together like that all right cool so I'm not sure which pieces of this I still know actually I still need some log this piece, this piece, and these two pieces here could probably do a coming up. Maybe even that. I think these two actually come up as well, you know. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then as a banister, well, you, I use glass, but you can use fence or stone wall or iron bars. I'm just going to do that. Okay, let's fill in the floor with some slab. Um, oh, that's not the search bar. Boop. There we go. I quite like. I believe it was the spruce. That's really nice looking wood. Yeah, let's go and do some spruce. So let's just fill this in like that. This is our balcony. Do the same here. Alright. And just underneath, support beam. Small details, but make a nice big difference. Now, this bit here, you can leave open if you want to, but in the original build, I simply filled it off and I had the stairs upside down here and had a door there to close it off so this was an enclosed kitchen you went into a living quarters but you know that's entirely up to you you can knock this wall out if you prefer the more spacious approach that's entirely up to you after all it's your build you're building it let's quickly skip back today I had that command prepared it's probably the first time I've ever been prepared Let's get back into slabs. I want you to go where the doors are, there and there. Whilst we're thinking of the door, how about we actually throw the door in? That might be a nice idea. And I want them to be on this side of the steps. So I'm gonna do them from the inside like that. And then I'm gonna cheat by doing this. How about we, no, they're not set. Let's replace the grass with Double slab, please. Thanks. And then there, I'm just gonna say set cobblestone. There we go. That's not all too bad. Let's do the exact same. Just there. Actually, I should have done. Should have done that first. But never mind. There we go. I cheated. Okay. What's next? What's next? I suppose it's the roof, I believe. It looks like it is. Um, actually, let's do this little wall out here first. Let's do concrete wall. And I'm also going to need a gate. So let's take the gate. Quite like this simple wall design here. And then I did the exact same here, but this one had a gate. So it becomes an enclosed entrance way, which is useful if you're on survival. It gives you a bit of space between you and a creeper when you first come out that door in the morning and blow you up. Right, now to the part that I actually hate, and that is the roof. Okay, uh, let's go for. I want two different materials. I quite like the dark for the rim. And I'm going to go for. No, did I do it as the roof or did I do it as. I think I did it as an oak, actually. Did I do it as oak? Actually, no, I didn't do it as oak. Fair enough. Okay, so I'm going to come straight along the end here, assuming I can click the right places. Like that. Just going to come all the way up to the top. I actually need the dark 
slab just there. There we go. And then, if I just come out by two, turn you around, I believe you came out by that much. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. And then I'd leave this bit. I'm taking a guess here, it should go there, there. Balls, not there. And there. Upside down, upside down, upside down. So many upside downs. There we go. Nice. And then I can actually, as a guideline, just bring that all the way across. Although, before we get to. Oops. Leg spike. Ah, weather starting, that's why. Okay. Toggle downfall. No thank you. Not today. Okay, before we go on, what I want to do is take the original log and a piece of glass. Okay. And this side I'm going to put by two, two, and then one on top of the glass. And then I'm going to do the exact same on this side, except we're going to have a door in it rather than the glass. So it is. One, two, one, two, and one on top, and the door. There we go. So then that, assuming I've done it correctly, are you high enough? Or have I done you? Have I done you wrong? You actually better done it wrong. Just to annoy me, I bet I have done it wrong. Right, okay, how about. No, I haven't done it wrong. We just need to do this part of the wall first, that's right. Because this bit comes down like so. It becomes a bit of a challenge. No, that's wrong. You go there, and then you go there. Upside down, upside down, and then a half slab. Yeah, that's right. And then these half slabs come across the top like so. And then again we have the uh, flick on the roof, like that, and I'll do the same again, low, and then the upside down, no that one's too far out, derp, ah, I hate this mouse, it's awful, can't wait for my gaming mouse to come back, I'm going to miss it so much, right there we go, there we go, there we go. And then you come along, and there should be one, one step at the end, just here. I'm not sure I'm going to get that on actually. If I do that, then that there we go, that works. And then we have the same here, but it just gets it's uh, such a complicated roof. There should be this. Come out by two. Put you there, and then you're the upside down because you're there there. Roofs. It really helps to do these rims first. You go there, and then you go there. On you upside down. I hope this is easy to follow. I don't like to do simple roofs, do I? I certainly don't. Right. Okay. So you go there and there. You two can go away. No, oh, actually, no. You do come out one further. It's my fault for doing it this way. I forgot to put these borders on it first, which is why it didn't look right. So you go there. Uh, you're also a slab. Come on, by two. So I did make a mistake. However, I am trying to do this from memory, and this was quite a while ago when I made this. Okay, so now we've got the actual framework of the roof. God damn, this mouse is awful. We can now actually carry on and continue said roof. Like a dish. Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. You're supposed to go like that. You go there. You continue along like that. Fill you all in. And you go along. God damn, this is, this is a... Uh, which way? Hmm. Ah. Course. You go there, derp. There we go. You there, you there. And you come along here. And you go there. And let's finish this piece. Like that. 
You go there. There we go. Now we've finished a roof. Excellent. All right. So far, so good. I guess I just need to finish the interior. I'm not going to decorate it as such. I'm just going to finish the interior so that the house is the complete shell, if you will. And just so you can see, because I am using shaders, allow me to just throw some glowstone. Uh, what am I going to need? I shouldn't need any of these other than the actual steps. And I'm just throw some glowstone in here so that you can see. So I'm not using the shaders. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get to there. And then here, let's do the little curved bit. Same here, curved. And then we do the same across there. And then we do one there, one there. And then what did I do in here? I believe I just use. I believe I just use slabs in this area. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure I just use slabs. There we go. That's the roof done. Okay, we need some ladders just here. Put the wrong button. New keyboard too. When I said a whole new computer from scratch, I meant everything. Monitor, keyboard, SSD, uh, if I do flash pen, uh, right down to the small details, I did everything. All right, so that, I believe, is the complete shell. I'm not gonna bother doing the interior. You're more than welcome to go back. I'll, I'll link to the showcase in here so you can have a good look around the interior of that house for yourself. Um, do I want, I'll tell you what, I tell you what, because it's been so long since I made a video, I'm going to throw a bonus in. I'm going to add this stable as well, assuming I can remember how this built was you know, as well. Because yeah, I'm not kidding when I said it was a long time ago when I built this. So I'm going to need that, I'm going to need that, I'm going to need the gate. Just to remind myself of how this looks. It's a double gate. Okay, oh, I didn't throw a chimney on either. Jeez, I almost did an incomplete build. All right, okay. Okay, first of all, let's time set day. And let's let's finish this build properly, shall we? All right, let's break two holes. Let's turn you into slabs because you look far superior. Slab, 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 slab. How far did I come up with those slabs? It was two, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, because it almost collides with the uh, the roof here. So that there and that there. Don't put an actual fire in here, by the way. So if you're about to shoot off the head. Do not light that fire, because you will burn this house down. And then you're going to be mad, and it won't be my fault. Okay, a slab on top. There we have... Is that the right size? It looks more like someone's sticking a middle finger up. Ah, no. I've done it too high. Okay. Let's bring it down one. That looks a bit more interesting. Okay, and on the inside, all I did was I simply placed a furnace in here, so when it lights up, it looks like you got a little chimney rest. And I like to turn this bit into a step there. Okay, so that's the fireplace. All right, uh, now to remember how I did the stable. I'm pretty sure it was continuing with the theme of free spaces and then free logs. And then again, one, two, free space, free logs. And then it was the exact same nope, along here. Okay, and then for the most part I did this, complete with some gates, okay, and again, oops, right, I'm com nope, complete with gates, and then I did the same thing here, but this side, because it was taller, came up much higher, oops, stop jumping, there we go, okay, I'm pretty sure these are actually meant to come up one higher, you know like that. This one I didn't have a gate because I felt that it was a feeding hole so I left that as it was and then this bit was the actual entrance like that. Alright. Okay, the roof itself do you know what? Now I've done this I believe it may have been free after all. Uh, it's been a while since I made this build though in my defence. Okay, to get this right, this bit should be curved. So I'm going to put it there, and then they will go along like this. There we go. And then we're going to come out by an extra block, like so. And then it comes up. I'm going to do the same this side. Again, it wants to be a curved block. 
like that. Coming out by an extra block on the end here, like that. And then I'm just going to continue that theme up to make sure I get it all correct. And then there, and then it kind of comes along and eventually collides with this. We'll deal with that when we get to it. There we go, that's more like it. A really nice cottage this. Very highly detailed, even though it's so small. Very detailed, I'm really happy with the results. So that's why I decided I wanted to turn it into a, a tutorial. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these three pieces of glass and just curve these pieces like so. Okay, on top of that I'm going to need uh, let's get rid of the gates, I'm done with the gates. Let's, get rid of, let's grab some of these slabs to cover up the top area. And I do, I think I did last time manage to get another flick. But I think it was a push. Let's get it in. Let's try it, shall we? There we go. And then I think in the end I just did that. Actually, no, that's that's utter rubbish. I didn't do that at all. Pretty sure. Nope. Pretty sure I did that. Oh well, either way, it doesn't actually matter, does it? Of course, it doesn't. Okay, and it's on. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm assuming that comes out the right. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Now we have the complete building, guys. So, again, apologies. It's been so long, but I really hope that this tutorial was worth the wait. And I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I also hope that the microphone clarity has been okay. I kind of lent away from the mic a bit there during the video without realizing. So I hope that hasn't affected the quality at all. I'm sure I'll get used to this microphone in the end. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have my gaming mouse back and it won't be as bad as well. I'm looking forward to playing some more games and just getting back into it. Unfortunately, my internet connection is still lame. I haven't had the time to upgrade since I finally finished college and gone back into full-time work. But I would like to go back into fiber optics so I can upload. But in a minute, my internet connection does suck. At least for upload speed. My upload speed is just absolutely it's just an absolute joke and that's you know, that's one of the things that stops me from uploading so much because it chokes up the connection and then i can't play my other games with my friends you know multiplayer like daisy and minecraft feed the beast and all that stuff so I, I can't be uploading and do that at the same time it's one or the other and that can often affect me and my uploading schedules but you know hopefully i can sort that soon but anyway before i do the usual trick of blabbering on rubbish i hope that you've enjoyed this build and I will see you in the next one.